Hey, welcome to my channel. Well, today's video is a little different than you're used to seeing because in today's video, this video is going to apply to people who are beginners to the drone world. And it's also going to apply to people who are professionals or have been flying for a long time and just love watching beginners fly drones. So in this video, you're going to see this guy over here. That's my brother-in-law, Nelson. And uh, he wants to learn how to fly drones because he has a sailboat and he wants to fly a drone around it. So he's going to start off small. So he asked me, what drone should I start with? And the drone I always recommend to everybody is a drone like this. You know, like the MJXRC Bugs SE? Well, this is not it. This is the same thing, but this is the JJRC model, the Cetus. So this one or that one back there, the Bugs 2 SE are awesome beginner drones. I also recommend the X5. It's a pretty decent drone and as well, this drone is exactly the same as the MJXRC Bugs 4. 5W, I believe. I could have that wrong. But anyways, back to what I was saying. So I told Nelson that if he wanted to learn on the drone, I would give him an MJXRC Bugs 2 SE for free. Well, not exactly for free. I said, I'll show you how to fly it, but I have to film you flying it so that I can throw this on YouTube, on my YouTube Captain Drone channel, just in case it helps other people learning to fly. So in this video, you're going to see Nelson flying the Bugs 2 SE and doing a pretty darn good job for flying it for the very first time. And our whole fun and party is crashed by this person who is Tammy, my very good friend, and her dog Jack, who just happened to show up and join the party. Anyways, here's the video. Welcome to my channel. While I'm out here at a field today, because today is beginner drone flying day, I have my brother-in-law Nelson right here, who is a uh, really smart guy, engineer, and does all sorts of things with uh, aviation and nautical. But today he wants to try out a drone. And the drone I always recommend for beginners is the Bugs 2, or anything that's comparable to this. So this is gonna be his first time flying it, and this is what this whole video is about. Now check out this phone. This is a Blackberry, but somehow it's a Blackberry with Android, and it actually works fine. Turn on your controller. All right, grab a battery here. It slides in the back. As soon as you put it in, it's gonna start up. Click it so in. It says unlock, and okay, okay, Just lock. lock it so the battery doesn't fly out. Good. There you go. And then place it down on the ground. And for your first flight, make sure the nose is not facing you. Thank Have you. the ass end facing you. Why is that? That's so that uh, when you use the controller, the joysticks, and you move a joystick oh, forward. Oh, it's logical. I'm going to uh, turn on my Wi-Fi. So it says Bugs D66, so I'm assuming that's it. Connecting IP address, connected to internet. Perfect. And now what you do is go and start the app. And then you should, as soon as you have that, there you go. You should go. See, should see what the camera sees on the bugs. And there we go. We actually see it. See, you want to check is over here. This is your GPS mode. Okay. And make sure it's to the right, which it is. This is your uh, headless mode. Yeah. That's for beginners. We're not going to use that today. So make sure that's off. So it looks we, like a little snowflake. So we want it left or right? Left. Left. The okay. most important thing over here is this big zero. Yeah, is that, the number of satellites. That's right. Right now you have none. That's a problem. Next thing you have to do is put your controller down and we're going to do the compass calibration. Pick up the bugs. I'm going to stand back here and get you in. Hold it up about eye level. Okay. And uh, just turn it around to the left three times. Once, once, twice, three times. And now hold the camera pointing up. Up. And do the same thing. Spin three times. This is like Hogwarts or something. Yeah, that's it. One. And make a wish. And what's this doing? You're calibrating the compass so it knows which is north, south, east, and west. Oh, okay. And so if it's all like the lights are solid, which yeah. they are, look at the bottom. You're, you've done it correctly. And okay. then place it back on the ground. Okay. So now the GPS and the compass will talk to each other. And then the last thing you have to do... So it now says 16 on here. So that means I'm picking up 16, 16... You have 16 satellites. 16. That's good. You only need seven to fly. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> now a lot of you might remember Tammy from my other videos. Tammy and Jack have just crashed our video here, so she might come over. Here, you do whatever to come in my videos, don't Captain you? Captain Drone! <laughs> <laughs> the reason we're out here is Nelson is trying out this drone for the first time, and uh, he's doing the beginner thing. You've already done it in a previous video with a different drone. Yeah, so you're a rookie. Is there any more stress on you now that we have an audience? No, no. Can't okay, get any so worse than broken. Now, okay. when we fly, it has a lock and unlock to the actual motors. So, that's so I'm just going to point with this one. Yep. You will... You will Push that in, and then after you do that, it will. The motors will only spin for a certain amount of time. It's up to you then to take off. And I would suggest hit this yeah, button. Yeah. So this off. is the uh, stabilized auto takeoff. So, so hit the red button. So red button. And then the takeoff thing. There you go. Now the takeoff one. 
So we're now gonna press automatic. Yeah, go ahead, go quick, ourselves. go quick. It's good to go. And it will just sit there because it's a GPS drone. You can walk around it as I do, it won't go anywhere. When I move it, does it does it always go back to a hover mode? If Like if I move it and let go? It will stay at the same height when you let go of the joysticks and will stay exactly where you left it in the air. So my expectation is if I go power up, it will go up a meter or so. Yep. When I take my finger off, it will stay where it is. Yeah, try her up and down. There you go. This is why it's such a great beginner drone. Very stable. It's very stable. Yeah. Tammy, are you impressed as always? I'm impressed. I just watched the watch out for the metal posts, these uh, lamp posts, because uh, they do reach out and grab your drone. Yeah, it's very smooth. And yeah. uh, there you go. Let's take it up to about 10 feet. 10 feet? Yeah. And just leave it right there at 10 feet. Now, on your controller, you have a follow me mode. So, right over here is follow me. You see where the picture of the man and the drone? Yep. Click that. Okay. All of us, all three of us, walk back this way. Okay. And this drone will follow us. There you go. So if it's filming, you can walk with your back to it. It will just keep filming you and follow you. So now what we're going to do is walk back to where we came from. Cap, did you have anything planned today? Oh, <laughs> just stalking you, Captain Drone. I know. Wherever you are, I'm here. You're my biggest fan. I am. Now we're going to try the orbit one, but the orbit one we need a little bit more space. space. Put it in orbit mode and it will orbit you. Fingers crossed that it orbits him. There we go. And you control the height, so you can go up or down. Ooh, that is a little close to the post. It will maintain exactly what it's at. I think it's at 10 meters right now by default. And then hit the button again and it goes off. All right, so you're doing well. You fly the drone all the way out to the tree line. Take it up and go to the trees. So here's what you're going to do next is you're going to make it come back to you. Say you lost it, yeah. you have a choice to make it come back. You can make it come back controlled. In other words, you're going to hit the return to home button. Yeah. Second, you could turn off the power on your controller so it's lost signal. Yeah. We're not going to do that. And the third is if it's low on power, it's going to come back automatically. Automatically. And it's going to come back in. Does it come We're back We're going to hope it's going to land right where it took off. So oh, there did we you go. hear that beep? That's now telling that, me. That's your 50% power. That means that's when you should think about keeping the drone closer to you, vice versa. So hold down the return to home. Uh, hold it down or just click it? Uh, hold it down until it beeps. There you go. So he's got to go in and return home. It's coming back and it should land. Let's see how close it lands to uh, where we took off. So let's all walk over there and watch this momentous occasion. <laughs> so, so far Nelson, are you pretty impressed with this drone? Surprisingly stable and easy. So here it is coming down very nice and smooth. I'm mean, doing nothing. No, it's totally controlled. And let's see how get close it gets to that landing pad. Look at that. Look at that. Oh, one leg is going to touch it, if not on it. <laughs> is that uh, incredibly awesome or what? Are you impressed as I am? I am. Tammy, are you impressed? Wow. We got Tammy, Nelson, and myself. So that was it for the Bugs 2. And Nelson, this is your first time flying a drone. What'd you think? It was good. I've flown little remote control items before and you're always on it. Uh, here, you're focusing more on the item than you, like what it's doing rather than just trying to keep it in position. Yeah, and you flew well, like there was no problems at all. And Tammy, you're impressed as always? I stalked you to see this video, so <laughs> I am very impressed. My number of one Nelson. fan. Yeah. <laughs> all right. All right, guys, take care. We'll catch you in the next video. Oh, there's Nelson. He's doing his second flight. So Tammy has this awesome dog who's in the car. Watch this. Okay, stand there, Tam. Watch this. There's Jack. He's in the car and he's like, why am I in a car and you guys are outside? <laughs> he's not too he impressed. He follows us like a drone. He does follow us like a drone. He has a follow me mode, doesn't he? He does. Back to base. Go to car car. Bring the stick. Put it with the other sticks. Oh. Jack, Jack collects all sorts of sticks. Look at this. He's found this in the it's woods. A, like a, and he's got what is it you call those sticks that you... What, um, uh, trees? No, there's a word. It starts with a double. Wood? <laughs> like... A divining rod? You know, like... That's a divining rod, isn't it? No. Or antlers, if you hold it over your yeah, head. Yeah, so Get up, you smelly <laughs> Aww. He's stuck there. Oh. There you go, buddy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, shake your head. Ooh, that the winner, he gets to go have a sleepover at Captain Drone. Oh, no yeah. sleepovers for Jack. Not yet. Not until you take a bath, buddy. All right, Jack. we got to get back to droning. See you later. Bye, Tammy. See you later. See you in drone land. All right. <laughs>